cast iron cooking, I love it. Finex, very expensive, very nice. Lodge, not that expensive. Good enough? Stick around and find out. Really, oh, whoa, just dropped the lid. Kind of awesome. Hey, it's Chris, Tiny Industrial. I'm at the tiny house. It is brutally cold today. I'm talking about cast iron today. So I love cast iron. Every year or two, I'd wind up going out and buying myself a new $20, $30 pan. That sucked because it scrapes off and you're eating that. And anyway, so along comes this company that I heard about called Finex, and they make a very high end cast iron pan. Now I'm a strong guy. I can like kind of move this around. Don't be fooled though. This thing is super heavy. I bought it with a lid. I got this, it was like an open box thing on eBay. I got it for $150. Now a lot of people are screaming, oh my God, $150 for a cast iron pan. Well, yeah, um, bought new with the lid, 10 inch skillet is somewhere in the $200 plus range. Is it worth it compared to like, let's say Lodge, which I have sitting right here behind me. I've got another Lodge over here. So clearly I own some, so there's gotta be some value to this, right? Well, here's the advantages uh, of Finex that I see. One, it looks super cool. Two, it's got this great stainless steel spiral thing right there. Let's zoom in on that. Look at that thing. That uh, keeps your hand from uh, getting hot. The lid's got this beautiful, nice brass piece. Other than that, it's, you know, it's your standard cast iron skillet. Here's the other part. This surface in here is super smooth. They machine this down. It's milled and, and, and whatever the right word for it is, but it is like glassy smooth. And that is the key advantage that I see to this pan. Now, again, 200 bucks is a lot of money. These were made in the USA, in Portland, Oregon, to be exact. And Finex, I believe, was purchased by Lodge. So they saw the value in it as well. So let's see, let's dig a little deeper. You can drop the lid, nothing happens to it. All right, so anyway, that's my Finex, love it. Use it every day. Then we've got this Lodge, which is pretty standard. This was like, uh, what did I pay for this? 15 bucks at Marshall's or something. It's fine. Now, the, the key thing that I use them for up here at the tiny house is for cooking over the fire. And there's nothing like cooking over the fire with a cast iron skillet. My issue with Lodge is that when you buy one of these, and this is clearly new, look at that surface. That doesn't even compare in any way, shape, or form to what I just showed you in that Finex pan, right? It's rough. And that's my issue with it. This isn't too bad. I've seen some that are much rougher than that. But still, like, I mean, the bottom of it is basically the same as the top of it. And that's just, I don't know, that's just not cool. I find that things stick to that much easier. So what did I do with this Lodge pan? Uh, that I intend to do with that one as well, is well, I grind the surface down to mimic the surface of the uh, Finex pan that I showed you. Does it have the nice handle that the Finex does? No. Does it have a nice lid that the Finex does? No. Is it that cool like octagonal shape? No, none of those things. It doesn't have any of the cool factor, but hey, look, it's, it's a fraction of the cost, right? So this actually cooks really nice now with, with that uh, surface. Now what I'm gonna do, uh, if you click on the video link that you see at the end of this, I'll take you to a video that I'm doing to show you exactly how I turn this into something more like this.